Hey everyone, my name is Judd Burden. I'm the president of Action Seal, and I am so excited to be here with a fantastic guy, Mr. John Evans. So good to be here with you. Thanks, brother. Yeah, it's man. great. Fantastic. We're in paradise too. Absolutely, it's uh, it's, a, it's an incredible spot. Thanks for having me. Right on. And the name of your company is Everline Coatings and Services. That's correct. Correct. And you've been in business just about eight years. About eight years. Yes. Uh, started January 2012. Fantastic. And tell the audience, tell them basically how you got involved with the business, how you got started, and really the journey that you've kind of been on here. Oh, well, it's, it's been a journey to say the least. Uh, but as soon as I finished uh, university, um, I had run a student painting franchise, so I had a taste of what business was. But um, when I went uh, and I was try after I was finished school, I was trying to figure out what I was going to do. And it wasn't until I started doing a bit of research into the traffic marketing industry that I noticed that there was a significant demand for a, a well-branded professional approach to this industry uh, for, uh, for a company that uh, as long as you apply excellent business principles, uh, you're going to be successful. And within our first year, we, we nailed it. Right on, right on. So like from a value perspective, your values in your company, what would some of those be? Um, uh, well, our values at Everline, uh, we cr sort of created them to be all encompassing to what we found is actually what we naturally do that made us successful. So we say we are driven. So uh, we're dedicated, we're resourceful, we're integrity focused, we're value based, uh, we're excelling and we're nourishing. Uh, so I found that uh, by incorporating people, uh, all, in, uh, uh, all part of that vision and uh, uh, bringing on franchise owners as part of that vision uh, has been wildly successful all across the board. So did you start out actually with your own business doing striping on your own? I did, yes. So I uh, bought a couple of line painting machines. I uh, operated in my spare bedroom. I uh, uh, had a truck and trailer. Everything was kind of crammed into that. I had my paint pails kind of hanging out the side of uh, my backyard. I had very patient neighbors back then and uh, we grew it from there. It's awesome. You know, the, the interesting thing is, as some people may know watching this video, if you've seen some of our other content that we've put out, started in a very similar situation, right. buckets and rollers. And, and the neat thing is, you know, you start from somewhere. Right. And the goal is to always carry that momentum and progress, right? To continue to, to grow. That's, cor that's correct. And, and initially when I thought that, uh, okay, well there is a, an opportunity in this industry uh, in Calgary uh, that, uh, you know, I'll just uh, run a little business. It'll make a good living for myself and my family. And uh, it just, as you kind of go down the rabbit hole, you're like, this is an insane opportunity. I, I call it a gold mine of a business opportunity. Uh, because uh, there's just nobody doing it with the level of class that's out there and it's uh, just uh, just kind of going. So we're, how we got from here to there started with a single step. Really? And, that, and so what, what basically took place is this, this progress. You, 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 know, you started rolling on this journey. Mm -hmm. And so you started to, of course, see fruits from your, your hard labor, your hard work. And from there you saw something, an opportunity to scale. Yes. And, and tell, me about, tell, tell me about that thought and that process of you scaling. How did that happen? So we were in Calgary running a successful business, doubling our business every year, getting up to about a million bucks in revenue and just line striping, wow. which is crazy. Uh, then uh, the idea of you get to a fork in the road of, okay, I want to continue growing, but when and how? And uh, the idea of, uh, of scaling the business by operating in other cities, if this works here, what would this look like in other cities? So we actually tested a corporate location in Edmonton first without me running it uh, to make sure that uh, I wasn't just the magic, it wasn't just me. Uh, before we met each other, I knew that was, that was a thing, but uh, uh, we uh, then that was successful and then we branched off into Saskatchewan and even in a smaller market like Saskatchewan, that was even more successful and scaled through franchising as, as we go there. Fantastic. So, so essentially franchisees are a part of your franchise mm -hmm. and franchisees are able to reach out to you for opportunity to be able to grow their own business. Mm -hmm. Now, would you say that the hard learning, the steep learning curve and you know, the ups and downs and the, the challenges and adversity you've been presented with, are you able to essentially prevent a lot of your franchisees from going through this, those similar challenges that you went through and save them the time and energy and Kind of, kind of the, you know. A absolutely, I, yeah. So um, I, I actually added it up uh, of all the trial and error that I had to get through to be able to get it to a point where we have a well-oiled machine that uh, just generates uh, great quality work at a profitable rate. 
Uh, it, it was hundreds upon hundreds of thousands of dollars within my first four years of running the business uh, that my franchisees were able to save right off the bat. On top of that, you have uh, having a national presence. Uh, you know, I say we're stronger together as a team. Uh, nice. Having that collaborative effort, it is a uh, it's a massive advantage in this industry in particular. So we're happy to be uh, be leading the way on that that front. That's fantastic. The other thing too, I think that's really important is that when you know when you have franchisees that are able to save time and energy and and uh, ultimate well time and energy but kind of the challenges the severe challenges that you can help them kind of you know bypass mm -hmm. um, you're also able to provide a quality standard mm -hmm. a service standard mm -hmm. do you have a quality or service standard yes in your franchise yes we do uh, we've uh, kind of made it our own thing we call it the core quality system so when somebody asks us you know how are you different than the other line painting company out there or any asphalt made this company that does seal coating crack filling uh, we do uh, we say we follow our core quality system so uh, you know we make sure we our, our crews have clear scopes they they know what the client expects uh, we have operations reports to make sure that you know uh, the uh, owners of the business are getting real up-to-date information so they're able to reach out and inform the client and uh, then evaluate the business right after that using data uh, to make sure that uh, not only is uh, the franchise owner or the business owner able to generate or to, to figure out how to be more efficient next time, make more money off the project, uh, but how they're actually able to service the client better. So it's a win-win-win for everybody. Fantastic. So, so essentially, you know, that quality standard that you're, that you're providing mm -hmm. um, essentially is going to toggle the industry forward in a positive way because it's providing a quality level that's probably above our standard that we see in the industry right now. Would you agree? A hundred percent. The, uh, the idea is, is that, you know, by, by, by acting this way, uh, you know, you win a lot of jobs. You, you know, you start kind of, t uh, you know, taking projects from existing contractors that have just been kind of, uh, f uh flying under the radar. Uh, you know, uh, working for beer money, that sort of thing. Um, by us being better, it's actually forcing them to get better and it's going to drive innovation, which is gonna drive even more innovation out of us. And so it's, again, just by acting in that higher level, it's going to be, uh, it, it just makes everything better. So it's been great. It's fantastic. 2020 is a, a very interesting year. There's a lot of, a lot of, a lot of people like yourself who are really coming together to throttle this indus industry forward and and kind of you know level up the, the the industry standard. Now, so so with your company, if somebody was wanting to reach out to you regarding franchise opportunities, mm -hmm. how would they reach you? Um, they they can go to our website everlinecoatings.com. Uh, we're fairly active on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, all that sort of stuff. Uh, you know, there's uh, 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 links on there to reach out for uh, for franchising, and then we have a whole blurb on what's going on. And if you reach out, I'll reach out to them personally, and we have a conversation and go from there. Right on. Well, listen, you know, let's continue to improve this industry. Let's continue to bring people into it. There really are A players wanting to, you know, improve the industry standard. Mm -hmm. And let's all win together. You know, mm -hmm. that's really, really the, the, the opportunity for us all here is to win and create a better life filled with freedom. Mm -hmm. John, I really appreciate you taking the time today. Mm -hmm. And everybody who heard it, Everline Coatings and Services, and it's everlinecoatings.com. That's that right. right. Fantastic. John, I really appreciate the time today. And I look forward to 2020 with yep. you and 2021 and onward, man. You got it, brother. Thanks so much. All righty.